How to close a summit like this? I don't think it's a closure, it's maybe a beginning of something else. And like Peter Senge said, what is most personal is sometimes the most universal. So I have a story to share. It's about stepping into power and empowerment. And in some traditions, it's nothing that you can do by yourself. It happens through an elder. In Jules, we just spoke uh, backstage, he said that his grandfather gave him the title of um, Centaura, which is a heritage title, when he was 20. Mm -hmm. And he's an early bloomer. For me, uh, my grandmother is from Ukraine, she's 86 now. And when we were moving to Sweden uh, in 90s, when the Soviet Union was falling apart, she was very sad, she wasn't sure if we get, she's going to see me again. So she decided to buy something. And uh, she went looking and she looked if she would buy cufflings. And then she's like, I don't know if they're going to use cufflings <laughs> 20 years from now. So she was long-term orientated. So she walked around as a jewelry store and after a while she, she chose to buy a golden dragon. And it was a month worth of savings for her that she bought it for. And then she realized that he's too young and irresponsible. He's probably going to lose it, so I can't give it to him now. And I've been visiting my grandmother once or twice each year. And I did it when I was 20. And when I was 25. And when I was 30. <laughs> and I don't know if this says something about the high standards of my grandmother. <laughs> or about something else. The, maybe low emotional maturity of myself and why I really want to engage in skill building initiatives. But when I was 39, the war broke out. This was now in, in March and it became unsafe. So I decided to go and get my grandmother, my aunt and their dog. I met them at the border in Romania. Uh, and almost naturally, as a ritual, when we met, we hugged, we kissed, and then she said, I have something for you. And she gave me this. And if you look closer on it, it's, I do think symbols matter. And it's a dragon, but it looks more like a turkey. <laughs> it's a very kind dragon. And you know, turkeys, they, they stand for generosity and kindness and self-sacrifice. And my grandmother gave that to me, and I, I think about her sitting there each year and thinking, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I would like to do is to invite you to step into your power, whatever that is, and wherever in your body you feel it. Let's bring the body back. Where do you feel your own power? Not po power over, but power with. The kind type of power. And if you're a company from an organization member, see if you can do something within your organization. It's a shout out also from us. We have no clue how to finance phase three. We're hoping that we will solve that and we need more partners. Please join us, co-create with us in September and become IDG partners. If you're an academic or research institution, follow the advice of Phoebe and do attack the really large questions. It's so easy for us to deconstruct and criticize and just go very, very shallow. See if you can step into your power and really ask the big questions. And if you're a private individual, team up with others and create an IDG hub. So I ask you to step into your power, but I also ask you to wear and keep your power in a humble way, just like I got this on a shoestring and it still is on the shift three. Mm. So thank you.